Hey guys, what's up? I'm doing my review on the OtterBox Defender Series iPhone 4 case. Now here's the box it comes in. This is the back. Shows the two, the hard plastic and the soft rubber around it. There's the side front. Inside the purple case is my old case. Defender series. Uh, this is the uh, this is for the iPhone 4S but there's no really difference because the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S have the same body so yeah and then it have the iPhone 4 so I just got the 4S this is the side this is where we've got technology covered this line, top, bottom. Right. I'll show you what's inside. Okay. Got to stop right now. This. This is my old case. I've only had this I've had this case and my outer box case. This case is broken right there. You can see. I don't know how I broke it, but it broke. And this is very bad protection. And it scratched on my phone a lot because there wasn't a padding. Yeah. Alright, here's what comes with the with uh, OtterBox Defender Series. Inside, when you get everything out, there's labels on the back to show you how to put on the case. And at the bottom, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, it says OtterBox.com slash case instructions. And there's a video that shows you how to put on your case and take it off <clears throat> but here is the belt clip that comes with the case it it's a, it's a nice plastic I don't use it because I don't personally like belt cases or belt clips I wouldn't use it but some people do it's very protective like this thing is about like just really good and I'll show you in a second that there's like clamps right here and it clamps onto it and clamps on yeah in the back you can move it however you want there is uh, there's like clips right here there's a clip right here that if you pull back Right, you can see it goes like that. It goes up, down, up, down. But if you clip it back, then it goes, snaps once, snaps again, and it stays like that. It stays open. So you can. I never really figured out how to do this. Hold on. Maybe you gotta twist it. Yeah, like that. But then you can set it on the back and. So here it is. Here's the case. It goes in here like that. It goes face in so it pr protects the uh, screen. The screen also has a protector on it so it won't scratch. And it goes in like that and you can just, you could use it like that and go to music okay um 
Okay, yeah, I like that. You can just scroll, th scroll through. It's pretty nice. I don't use it. I don't use the belt case for anything, but you guys might. Okay. I'm gonna take this off. There's the case. There's the belt case thing. Clip. It's going back over here. Okay. So here's the case itself. It says Otterbox on the back. It's engraved in there. Hold on, I'm trying to get it. Otterbox, yeah, right. In the back, it's got this uh, grippy thing so that it won't slide. And on the sides, it's smooth rubber. There's a button for the volume down, volume up. There's a clip right here. There's three clips. This is the hard plastic clips. And then there's an opening right here for the switch thingy for the vibrate and sound. And that clamps back up. On the top, there's a switch or a clip right there. There's the power lock button. Works really good. I like it better than the regular power box. Like that. And uh, this is the volume, or this is the uh, headphone jack input. This clamps back too. And then on the side, there's nothing except for the clip. I just told you there's three clips. There's one right here, one on top, one on the side. These two, the side ones, are for the belt. The belt uh, clip. That's what clips it on. And there's also a bottom where, like the rest of them, there's a flap to open for the connector to charge and shit. And that clamps down too. <sighs> um, to take it off, it's it's really hard. Like it's not hard, but like it takes time, and you got to I'll, I'll start doing it. I'll do it for you. I'm I'm not gonna take the. Uh, plastic off because I have under under the screen protector I wiped it down with a microfiber cloth and I don't want to wipe it down again so I'm just going to take the silicone off and you have to start from this side start from this side so nothing else rips because right here it will rip because it is thin yeah okay so I have first unhook all these all these little things there's three. There you go. Now you gotta start sliding off from the side. There's what the hard case looks like. You have to take it out under all these. And be careful around these clips too, because they're a pain in the butt. Okay, here's the case. Here's the hard case. The plastic. When you drop it, if you ever drop it, like face down, there's a rise. There's like. So just in case, drop it like that it won't hurt the screen. And there's a clip right there. These clips are to release the. There's two parts like. There's a front part of the plastic and there's a back part. And they clamp together with these clamps. And I'm not going to show you because I'm not going to take the plastic off, so sorry. And there's a back right here that shows the Apple symbol. And this is covered by a protective thing too. But the camera is not, so yeah. And here's the opening for the volumes things. And for the bottom. I mean, you could just use this plastic. I think it'd be really dumb. Because the case was $50. So, yeah. If you're going to pay $50 for this, get your money's worth for the protection. Alright, and that's pretty much it. I'm not going to put it back on on camera. 
I mean, alright, I'll do it. Yeah, hold on. I get frustrated with it. And you gotta slide all of them on. All of them on the little things on here. And you gotta slide these under the tabs. I have big fingers, so it's hard for me to get all these on. Hmm. Huh. Well, wow. it's pretty easy this time. What the hell? How come it wasn't this easy before? Okay, then you gotta clamp it down, and you gotta do this side, and you gotta get it under the tab too. I'm not gonna lie, this time was really easy. I took it off like I put it, I took it off and put it back on about three times, so I think the more you take it off and put it on, it's easier. But I don't know. To me, that's what happened. So yeah, all you gotta do is get it on these little grooves and you're good. Hold on, this isn't... I think I'm all good, yeah. There it is. There is the Autobox Defender Series case for the iPhone. It's for the iPhone 4S, but I use it for the iPhone 4. So, comment, like, subscribe. Bye.